Now, Janet Jackson recently put her tour on hold to start a family. It didn't take long as Entertainment Tonight was first to report the singer is pregnant with her first child two weeks before her 50th birthday. CBS 2's Christine Lazar spoke to an expert about this late in life pregnancy. Word that Janet Jackson is going to be a mom comes just two weeks shy of her 50th birthday. My husband and I are planning our family. Um, so I'm going to have to delay the tour. Last month, the singer announced she was canceling her world tour, but didn't go into much detail. Now we know she's expecting her first baby. The chance that a woman who's 49 years old will get pregnant on her own is very low, probably less than 1%. Dr. Kristen Ben Dixon is a fertility specialist at USC. She says Jackson most likely did in vitro fertilization, but probably not with her own eggs, unless she froze her eggs when she was in her 30s. As a woman, gets older, the quantity and quality of her eggs goes down. Um, her eggs have always been there since before she was born, and so those eggs are aging just like any other cell in her body. But a woman's uterus doesn't age like her eggs, so a woman in her 40s, like Jackson, even 50s, can get pregnant with a donor egg, coming from a woman in her 20s. You can be menopausal and use an egg donor and get pregnant. Dr. Ben Dixon says more and more middle-aged women are coming into her office, but she wants the those women to have realistic expectations. I think it's just important for women to have accurate information so that they don't change their family planning in the future based on what they're seeing in television and what's going on with celebrities. A woman's fertility starts to decline when she's just 30 years old, and then it takes an even steeper drop at around 35 years old. Once a woman's past 40, the chances of her conceiving on her own are very slim. No word on when Jackson is due. This is video of her in rehearsals earlier this year. She hasn't commented on the pregnancy. Christine Lazar, CBS 2 News.